everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul that is filled with brand new things. The Dollar Tree is just pulling out all the stops for us right now. So I'm going to jump right in. What do you say? Let's go. All right. <laughs> So these first things, I don't know what you're going to think about these, especially this one, because I think you're either going to love it or you're going to think that maybe it's a little creepy. I don't know, but I am definitely in the gotta love it. Look at this guy. Look at his little bobblehead. He is just so perfect. A squirrel sitting in an acorn and he's wearing the little acorn topper as a cap where i live there are just so many squirrels it is kind of insane and so i happen to think that they are adorable i know some people aren't the hugest fans of them but so this is just so fitting for my household so i picked up this guy and not only did i get him but then I picked up Mr. Owl sitting in a pumpkin. And then I also picked up the Scarecrow. So they had two versions of the Scarecrow. I just went with this one. So I got a set of three. But I've never seen these before. I absolutely love them and the squirrel I have to say is my favorite I don't know guys what is your take on him do you think he's cute or does he creep you out a little bit I'm definitely in the cute camp all right so the other day when I hauled these items I said to you that I did not need any more pumpkins well famous last words right because I got to show you what I found and I just had to get them so these are the fabric wrapped pumpkins I got one in the blue and white uh, light gingham check print and then one in this black and white I thought that these are just really cute um, I want to say they had one other color. You know, it was one of those things like pressure. The box was chock full of brand new pumpkins and I just could not help myself. So besides those, I also, yes, jumped onto the velvet pumpkin wagon. I could not stop myself. This is a beautiful golden color this one in rust and then I also found this beautiful shade of green and what really sold me on these this year is this stem I like this really natural looking stem I mean it's just made out of plastic with a little uh, gold paint on it now the one in rust does not have any paint on the stem but the green and the golden one that does these are so much nicer than last year's velvet pumpkins. Last year I was able to resist the velvet pumpkins, but with this new and improved stem this year, I just could not pass these up. So many beautiful colors. I'm happy that I did. I'm sure that I would have regretted it if I passed these up. Now this next item I think will be absolutely beautiful outside, but I was thinking about it and you could also definitely use this inside. You could put it in a potted plant. I think what would look really pretty also is um, a lot of people collect like those stoneware jugs and so this set inside of that even as a doorstop I think would be adorable for the fall but I really thought that the quality of this was particularly nice this year and the tag just does say sunflower steak made out of a nice heavy duty metal but it's definitely such I would think with a strong pair of metal cutters if you wanted to like uh, shorten the stem you could but just so pretty and alongside this they had also out again from last year the metal corn cobs you know I'm always so tempted with those but I don't do a lot of 
outdoor decor so I passed on those but this one I just could not leave with I just want to remind you guys at the end of today's video I will be continuing with the series of sharing all of the awesome crafting and decorating photos that you guys are sending me this is open to everybody i think it's such a wonderful way for us to share and get to know each other here on our channel and so if you want to participate all you got to do is email me some pictures of what you're up to i also always search the fabric for some of my crafting friends and i found these I think these are some beautiful prints now this animal print is one that I have never seen before it's a hundred percent cotton crafters square and you get 20 by 21 inches so that seems to be a nice size for a dollar I think that's a good deal and then my love of whales I just had to pick this one up this is perfect especially for the summer so this could be put away I think until next year and then this to me is just so classic this blue and white gingham beautiful feels really soft so if you're in the market for fabric I think checking out the fabric at the Dollar Tree is really a good buy for your money and since we were just on the whale theme, I also have one piece of friend mail that I want to share. It is from Kay. Look at the beautiful card she sent me. And then she knows my love of whales. Isn't this little pouch absolutely perfect? It's by Jot. I love its sweet little whale tail there. So thank you so much, Kay. This was perfect i have some more friend mail that i will be getting to i thank you all so much it is so kind of you certainly never necessary one of my friends used the term sister mail and i thought that was an awesome term for it sister mail and because i have a sticker addiction i had to pick up this 14 piece sticker collection from crafters square how could i not look at the beauty of this the styling the font of the text is spot on i really like how this is not childish in the styling of it and the wording is something brand new that the Dollar Tree is giving us. Like, look at this, carve out some good times. I've never seen that before. So I was really pleased that they brought out something brand new this year in the sticker line for the autumn. Okay, this next thing, I could not believe that I scored these. Look at this, Kellogg's Nutrigrain Bars. Now, I am a huge fan of these, so to be able to get these for a dollar is incredible another reason why I love shopping at the Dollar Tree because it's such a treasure hunt you never know what you're gonna find and so many times you find brand name items just like these so the only thing I did notice on my two boxes and I checked before I purchased them is that the best buy date on these is August 31st of this year but I have plenty of time in my opinion because I eat one of these a day so I will certainly eat the 16 bars before the expiration date and let's face it even if I went beyond August 31st it's not like it's gonna kill me right it just maybe wouldn't be up to their like quality standard tasting but I thought these were an awesome deal. I did just grab the two though. Part of me was a little tempted. Ooh, do I get more? Because my guess is you could stick these in the freezer. But I just picked up two. And I've also been seeing so many other YouTubers hauling the full size boxes of cereal. I almost like died the other day when Tiffany on Thrifty Tiffany had uh, the Honey Nut Cheerios like with the strawberries in it. I was like, oh, I so want those. But I did find this and so I certainly am not going to complain. It's not the Cheerios with the strawberries, but it's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch chocolate churros so i've never had this before but general mills brand name full-size box of cereal 11.9 ounces for a dollar and the use by date on this is the october 27th 2021 and again that's just the best 
if used by date. So you could go beyond to that. But I was really excited that I was like, yes, I finally found a name brand full size box of cereal. I have been shopping at the Dollar Tree since like the day that it opened. So I don't even know how many years that is. And I think this is the first time I have scored a full size box of, you know, a big manufacturer cereal. And speaking of big name manufacturers, look at these. You know I was not leaving these. The Chips Ahoy cookies, the Oreo cookies, and even, ah, even the Fig Newtons. I thought these were so much fun and they seem to me, I don't know, are they a dollar for this amount? You get 6.5 ounces in the Fig Newtons. So let's see, they're saying you get 12 cookies. So 12 cookies for a dollar? I thought that seems good. Am I wrong? I don't know. The Oreos, you get 12, 13, you get like 14 in here, it says. 14 Oreos for a dollar? I mean, I don't know. If I buy a bigger pack, would I get a better deal? I was thinking it seemed really good, but I didn't go hog wild. I got one Oreo, one Fig Newton, and then my favorite <laughs> is the Chips Ahoy. And in here, you get 15 cookies again. So I thought 15 for a dollar seemed like a good deal. So I was happy with this find. Oh, and I certainly want to share some more photos of the crafts and the decor that you guys are all sending in. I just love seeing what everybody is creating. You're all so talented. It's so fun to share and I'm looking forward for more of what is to come. So I really thank you all for participating. And if you want to participate, this is an ongoing thing. So I will include my email here. Now all you have to do is send me off an email, JPEG, or JPEGs, whatever you're working on, and I will include your work in a future video. So that is everything I have to share for today, guys. As always, I truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I love spending time with you. And until next time, everybody, please be well.